my name is Jamie and I live in Saudi Arabia and I have a makeup collection that just keeps getting bigger all the time. So let's talk about it. First of all, first of all, it's the end of the week. This week was not as bad as last week for sure, but I'm suitably dead. Also, my lights aren't even on. Um, it's the end of the week and I'm kind of in a tidying mood and right now I'm going to go through my purse with you and I'm going to show you how many lip products I have in my purse and we'll go through them. There may be some that I returned to my purse, but I wanted to sort through them first. So this is from Lethal Cosmetics. It is Nova. This is from Colourpop. I have no idea what it's from. Oh, it's a lip crayon. And she's gonna go back to her home. This is Wet n Wild in, oh, what is it? Mochalicious, I have two of these. The Chokehold that Raw Beauty Christie created on Mochalicious is perfection. This is Vanda by ColourPop. <laughs> so yeah, we're already, we're already rocking. We're already going. Um, I have individ, no, Inalvidable, Inalvidable from Melt. I hope this one's okay. It's a very sparkly one, I remember. I did something cute with this and it was fun and I enjoyed it. I don't remember what it was, but I liked it. I also have in my purse this Juicy Apple Kaali fragrance that I sorta of don't like, but I was too invested. I'm almost... I'm running out. I'm working on it, you know. I have the H. Potter Luxe lipstick in my bag because I wore it yesterday and it's going back to its home. I have a Melt uh, lip liner in the shade Headbang and a LA Girl lip liner in Gingerbread. Those need to be returned to their homes as well. I have a Fenty Heat in the shade Hot Chocolate. <laughs> How many is this now? I have a Libre Yves Saint Laurent uh, fragrance sample. I was really annoyed at the Sephora the other day. Oh man, what else? Chapstick, that can stay. And I have from uh, Beauty Creations and Ultra Dazzle Lip Gloss in the shade Foxy. To be fair, this is kind of a sample. Also, yeah, no, she's gonna stay in here. Can't go wrong, can't go wrong with that. Uh, I have from Lethal Cosmetics, Voltage, this orange lipstick. This is an interesting formula for a liquid lipstick. I don't know how I feel about it. It's a bit thin, but it's kind of nice, I don't know. I've been looking for this. <laughs> this is the Generation Matte uh, Comfortable Liquid Lipstick from Catrice. Very nude, very brown. I really like it. I think it's quite comfortable for a liquid lipstick. Is that all? Is that all? Is that all? Okay, I'm gonna return Mochalicious to my bag because I have a second one. And then it's between the Naked or, I'm sorry, the Lethal Lip Gloss in the shade Nova or the Fenty Heat. You know, I'm gonna try to work on, I have like three Fenty's that I need to use up. Like, literally, look at, the, look at this, look at this, this is bad. So I have one, oh, what is this in the shade? Just the Fenty Glow, that needs to be worked on until dead. I have a second Fenty Glow that could be worked on until dead. Maybe I'll put that one back. It's not gonna be dead soon, but. And then I have this in the like cream. This is also the Fenty Glow, like the perfect nude. So you know what? I'm gonna put these in my bag for the coming weeks and I'm gonna take that Beauty Creations one out actually. And yeah, see, you've seen me. You've seen me clean my purse, okay? the number of lip products I like to put in my 
bag is unbelievable. I hate having chapped lips. You know what? Hate it. So, on to our regularly scheduled programming. I want to discuss a haul that I hauled and so I put in an order to the old Be Perfect. Hi, Max. Yeah. Hi. And let's not talk about how much I spent, slash. Yeah. I'm a clown, okay? Just, just know that I'm a clown. So here is what I bought. I bought two palettes and I have you know, no, never mind. I have no justifications for anything anymore. I just do what I do. Um, I am gonna think about going into more of a low buy going into November. I have like one or two things that I really wanna pick up on like Black White Friday or whatever, but we're, we'll see, I don't know. It's gotta go on sale. There's one thing specifically in my mind and it has to go on sale and I keep looking at it of course, I don't need it, but I want it. I really want it. Oh, if you can guess it, tell me. Let me know. Let me know what you think. It's a neutral palette. Neutral-ish palette from one specific brand. Yeah, go on that. See if you can guess which one it is. However, I went ahead and I put in an order to be perfect. So palettes. I did go ahead and get the Carnival, the Antidote palette. And you know what? I know. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna get it and I lied. It's just that simple, I lied. Um, well, and I didn't lie, I really didn't intend on getting it, but it kept burning a hole in my brain. And then I got like a coupon and I kept trying to like find a way to get it. And then, yeah. By the way, I did use a uh, makeup Missa, makeup by Missa. Yeah, Missa, Missa's code, M-I-S-S-A. So she got a small commission and thanks. That was my money, you're welcome. Make more content, where you been? Anyhow, so this was a, choice by Be Perfect to release this. So they just recently launched the, what was it? The Stacy, like the next iteration of the Stacy Marie Carnival palette. Or if you want to look at it a different way, they re-released the Carnival one or something. And they kind of tweaked it and uh, took out the highlighters, the face highlighters. And yeah, just updated the formula, reworked the palette. And I think that that is a choice. <laughs> um, and I don't know. They also released a travel size carnival palette and that is what I picked up. So I only have one Be Perfect palette. Well, I had, <laughs> I had only one Be Perfect palette and I really like it. Um, it did not rate very well. It's the Manifest Dream Big palette and I have enjoyed it. It's an interesting color story it's a little bit mishmashed and it's very different, which is kind of what I like about it. It kind of burned a hole in my brain as well for a while before I bought it. And I'm happy to have it and I really like the quality. The only thing is the mattes are a little thin. So I'm curious to see if either of these palettes perform in a way that is kind of similar to that. So I ended up getting the small Carnival because I do not want Carnival 1 and 2. I do not need those big palettes. I do not really do makeup that way. Um, I just don't need it. This, as I had mentioned, is much more my preferred color story. I am gonna have to like reach into my soul and maybe try to use some of these, but uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. Um, this, this is definitely for me, the one, I think this is my only rainbow palette, really. Like I don't own a lot of, rainbow palettes. I may, that might be a lie. I guess my Blend Bunny Surge palette could come close to something like this, but even then, not really. And I think that this also, like Be Perfect and Blend Bunny both sort of occupy a space 
that is a little bit different, kind of in the sphere of less wearable makeup and more in the sphere of Instagram makeup, which I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind kind of doing a bold look every now and again and looking for inspiration that way. But uh, also, uh, I have to go to work <laughs> uh, sometimes and I like to use my makeup so I don't know I thought that this was a good addition to my collection and I think that it satisfies any desire I may ever have to have carnival one or two I don't think I really need either of those palettes it doesn't really it doesn't really interest me to have gigantic rainbow palettes in my collection just taking up space that I don't really use in that way so that's my logic, that's my logic. <laughs> um, I know that people were really confused by that choice by Be Perfect to launch a smaller version of like Carnival 1 and 2. And let me see, it's a four by, so it's still a 24 pan palette. It's just small, you know? So I understand why one would be skeptical of that choice, but for me personally, I stood to benefit from it, so I bought it. It wasn't, you know, terribly expensive, so I went ahead and bought it. Um, as well, I was interested and have been interested in the Liquid Cheek from Be Perfect, and I got the shade Apricot Dream, because that sounds nice. <laughs> I haven't used it yet, obviously it's still in the box, I'm planning on using it today. And then I picked up a fan. This way, a fan. So am I that person now? Yes, I am that person now. Did I need a fan? No, did I want a fan? Yes, and it has a little Be Perfect Cosmetics thing on the side. Maybe I'll take it to a rave and then I can be the fan girl. I can be the fan girl now. Thanks, Be Perfect. That's all I wanted. That's really all I wanted. I've been looking for a fan. <laughs> <laughs> like for God knows how long and what a stupid purchase to make, but you know what? I don't care. Shut up. I think today, oh, what do I want to do? I'm actually kind of struggling with, uh, I'm struggling, I'm struggling with things. I'm struggling with what to do. I think I'm actually going to hold off on this palette for now. And I'm going to dip into the antidote palette and yeah, we'll see what I can come up with. I am gonna try to steer away from this side, the green side of the palette, because I know I'll use that and I know I'll like it and I'm not really that worried. I am wanting to try more of this side. So if that interests you, stick around. Um, I'm gonna put my base on and do the things, maybe put on some lights and when I come back, I'll have some makeup on and we'll get into the eyeshadow. So hang tight, I'll be right okay. back. Um, do I look luminous? So I used, <clears throat> I used the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel Foundation. Is that what it is? I don't know, whatever this is. Sure, great. Then I also used the KVD Good Apple uh, Concealer as well. And I have the shade Light 114. I also have a new sponge, and it has this little thing. Yep. I may have made a mistake as well, and I definitely put powder on. Um, I used the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder, the setting powder. So I'm a little worried that if I use the Be Perfect Cheek Liquid Blush, it's gonna turn out like a hot, blah, 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 toasty mess, but I may just try it anyway, because I want to. And, this lip balm is from ColourPop, from the Harry Potter collection, and it is called Pride. Anyhow, let us, instead of chatting more on about it, let's get into the palette, shall we? Like I mentioned earlier, I am gonna try to go ahead into more of this side um, so that I can, you know, make myself a little uncomfortable and make myself feel inept and not good at things. So, anywho, let's do it. I am not sure. <laughs> um, not sure, not sure, not sure. I think I want to try first. I don't know. I think I'm 
going to go into Bon Bon, this pink shade here. And I'm just gonna put that slightly above my crease. I don't know what method I do. Sometimes I do like the dark to light method. Sometimes I do light to dark. And I just kind of feel my way. I do put down, and I do have a zit like right here on my eyebrow. So that's just the best. And also this is definitely like for my skin tone, what my zit color is. So it's just, it's just sitting real nice there. And that shade went down real, 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 real good. I'm just gonna kind of pack on a little more and blend out as I go. But, cool. I'm actually kind of living for this brush lately. It's from Odin's Eye. I'm not even sure I've worn it off. Yep, no idea. It's so noisy on my street. I don't know what to say <laughs> about it. Um, the Middle East. That's all I can really say at this point in time. Just, that's my life. It is what it is. I'm gonna go into Sweet Cheeks. Sweet Cheeks is this purpley, ready shade. Very cute. I'm gonna set that again under that first color, but above my crease. I don't think there's a black in this. There is not a black in this. Okay, alrighty. I mean, that's fine. It just seems interesting for be perfect to not include a black. Kind of given their, given their vibe, given their clientele. So I know that looks like a disaster and it is, but I'll blend it up. Okay, then lastly, what I'm going to do or not lastly, we're, we're a ways from lastly. I am gonna go into Aubergine down here, at the very corner. I'm not sure the differences between Aubergine and Pecan. Is there a difference? I'm gonna put that in my crease. I kinda wanted that to have a bit more of an impact. I'm being honest. It just looks a little deeper in the pan, you know? Okay, so this is where we're at right now. I don't know. I'm not confident in what I'm about to do. <laughs> so that's not good. Um, I think what I am going to do is I'm going to actually use a Q-tip and some micellar water and I'm going to kind of clean all this up and I'll be right back. I'm going to kind of cut, cut this, some stuff out and then maybe cut my crease. Is that what I should do? Is that what I should do? Ah, no. You know what I am going to try? I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to try to put in pecan. Pecan is this shade right above Sweet Cheeks, and it, I don't know, is it going to be darker? We'll see. I'm a little concerned because I've kind of layered on now many, many, many mattes. I don't really see a difference yet. Granted, this is the same brush, so it's dirty. It's not like it's going to really make that much of a difference, but... I do like how this bonbon shade is blending out with the other colors, but yeah. I am gonna go back to my original plan and I'm gonna cut out my crease a little bit and clean up the edge and then I'll see what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Listen, 
This is just an exercise of faith at this point. You know, this is one of those trust the process moments. I don't know. Oh, hi. I'm being flirted with. Oh, flirt. Oh, oh, I feel someone coming. Come here. Pausing. I think we're pausing. I heard a gentle. <laughs> and now someone is asking. Oh, it's asking for a call. <laughs> yeah. You're a bit of a crusty bugger, aren't you? He's got medicine all over him. Oh my god, and I. <sighs> I definitely cut his whiskers by accident. He's got medicine all over his face, like syrup. I had to give him some syrup. I was supposed to give it to him for like two weeks, but I'm not doing that. Um, no, no, but um, he was supposed to be getting the syrup and the syrup is literally all over my house. It's all over the floor. It's all over him. It's all over everything in my house. Seriously. So, I have, he's got it all over his face and it was like, you know, um, what am I saying? He's got it all over his face and I was like trying to cut some of the matted hair off of his face and I got his whiskers evidently. So that's not good. So now I think I'm gonna go, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna work in from the side. I'm gonna put spiced coral. This coral shade right here. I'm gonna put that in my corners, like inner and outer, just to see what it do. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of going. I'm a little concerned that <sighs> I just got fallout. I'm a little concerned that this look just isn't gonna have enough contrast because I wasn't able to put down a black. There isn't a dark enough shade to really make everything pop and set against each other. But I'm still gonna try and do something. I don't know. A little bit of fallout with that shade. Geometry was quite correct on this full ass cut crease. No lie, my boyfriend was like, go home and sleep. And I have not done that. I'm gonna watch House of oh, I'm gonna watch House of Dragons when we get oh I'm gonna go to his house and watch House of Dragons. And I'm literally so excited. So it comes out for us on Monday and obviously like I'm at work he's at work and we are watching it together so like it's a school night it's we're both working and I don't get to see it until the freaking weekend when it's almost been a full week old and I'm dying dying okay I have been so good about not watching ahead. Okay. By the way, my boyfriend watches my videos because he's cutest. Oh, and I'm gonna go in now to Pretty Peachy, the shade. Yes, my boyfriend watches my videos. He's probably the only one and uh, you know what? I'm fine with that sometimes. He has to love me. <laughs> well, no, he doesn't have to, honestly. I'm lucky. <laughs> I 
astonishing what that man will put up with. So this pretty peachy shade is a little thin. I'm having to finagle a little bit more than I'd like. I'm kind of digging the pan. Okay, here's where we're at right now. So, I think it's time now to get into at least two, maybe I'll try two shimmers, I don't know. Just using up all my freaking brushes. Do I need more brushes? Don't even let me suggest something like that. fallout happening not bad sorry I did it again so this is the shade honey that I've gone into this one I'm gonna try to go back in and blend a little bit I am gonna try to like cover that with maybe some liner cheating <laughs> cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Ooh. Ooh. Pumpkin. Uh, I definitely bought more canned pumpkin. So. More pumpkin pie cannon will happen. I like how this eye is doing what I want and this eye is being a little bitch. Why are you being a bitch? Okay. Why? Why though? It's kind of fun. <laughs> it's fun again. I'm gonna go into Oyster and just try to kind of put that down like with my finger right in the center. Sorry about my washer. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm gonna throw down a liner. I think I'm also gonna use my Be Perfect liner as well. Uh, the potted liner in black. And yeah, I'll do that and I'll be right back one sec. Okay. Well, I've had a bit of a battle. Do you see how that's lifting right there? Rude. I don't think that's honestly the fault of the Be Perfect um, <clears throat> potted liner. I have it in potted jealousy and it's just blackout. I've used it before, but the problem is I think I had too much product, especially in that outer corner of my eye, uh, as in like, um, primer and that Juvia's Place primer can, can tend to like create some texture on my eyes. So I'm actually reaching into this carnival palette to sort of try to use the black to really black out my liner and make it so it's not doing what it's doing. It's irritating me a little bit. So yeah, this liner, that's an adventure. Wowie wowie. An adventure I did not like or appreciate particularly. Um, oh my God, and it keeps lifting up. Every time I put it down, it lifts up again. Every time. It's just not drying. Like the um, not concealer, what is it called? The primer. The primer beneath it just isn't drying properly. So I think with that in mind, we're just going to move on. Um, I'm going to try. Let me see. You know, I am going to kind of put this to bed a little bit. Um, kind of copping out, kind of not, but this situation is irritating me. I'm gonna take what's left on my brush and I believe this is the spiced coral color. And I'm really just gonna run that under my eye a little bit. And I may call it good <laughs> on the under eye front. Um, 
I'm losing my light. I need to sort out my light situation. And this liner has already been an adventure and I'm kind of done. <laughs> Not done with the palette or done with anything. It's just like, I don't, I don't want to lose my light and have everything kind of not turn out how I want. So I think it's a good place to move on and uh, accept defeat a little bit on that liner situation. However, I am gonna try just to really mess up. <laughs> like this is, I like how this is turning out. Don't get me wrong, I think it's really pretty, um, but I've made some mistakes or like there's some little things that are just bothering me with the detailing. So yeah, not my, not my best work perhaps, but it's fine. Brand new palette, I'll use it again. Yeah, um, there is some fallout, but I'm gonna put freaking orange all over my face anyway. Actually, I am gonna go ahead and use what's left of this color. I think it's Bon Bon, and I'm just gonna also run that under my lower lash line. And just see if I can negate some of what's happening here. I'm gonna try this as well. Oh. Smells good. It's a big bottle. This is a big bottle. I wonder how much product is in it. I never look at these things. I'm gonna take a brush because I'm afraid. And this is kind of my I'm afraid of things blush brush. It is pigmented. Whoa. Um, okay. Yeah, um, on camera, not so bad. In person, a little, a little big. I mean, it's really cute. <laughs> it's just a lot. Oof. Um, I mean, it's not sitting terribly on top of powder. Like, I've had some of these where they kind of lift up. We don't like that. So. That's good news, at least. Every time I film. Every time my cat's like. Every literal time. Every time. Actually, okay. I really like this. Boys. I like this formula. It's a little... A lot. <laughs> That's a lot. This is a big bottle. Like, I don't have this much face. You know? It's kind of looking like this. Ooh. We're just gonna go into some powder and we're gonna powder around my eyes. About to tone this down. I don't know that that did anything. In my mind it did, but I don't think it did <laughs> in the reels. Okay, so I'm going to kind of finish off my makeup. Seriously. I'm going to finish off my makeup and then I'll give you some final thoughts. Okay, I'll be right back. We're going to end this. We're going to make this done. All right, so this is the finished look. I don't know that the lip goes, but it doesn't not go. I am O. So, the palette, I enjoyed. I did enjoy the palette. I thought it performed really nicely. I think this is a cute, fun look, perhaps not as well executed as I would like, but you know, the palette did what it was supposed to do. So I'm not unhappy about that. Um, I can see myself using this palette again. I can see myself really reaching into it many, many times. So overall, um, you know, I'm a clown and I thought I didn't need it. I'm glad I have it. I think it's a good addition to my personal collection and I'm gonna use it just even like, I can see the versatility in it as in, I don't think this is a wearable look particularly, but what I liked about this palette was that it kind of seemed more wearable. So I'm glad that 
it is one of those that you can kind of dress up and make into something, but you could also find those wearable shades to tone it down. So I'm gonna have to save the 24 pan mini carnival or small carnival or whatever you wanna call it uh, for another time, but I did use the black and I use the black, it's blacking. It's blacking fine, so yeah. Uh, the liquid blush, um, certainly an interesting uh, experience using that blush, but it's sitting rather prettily on me. And what I am really impressed with is that it did not actually interact with the powder that I had put on earlier, and that was kind of a mistake on my part. So it's sitting really nicely even over powder. I also used, by the way, I also used um, in my inner corner, what the heck was that shade? Glisten? Yeah, Glisten, I want to say. I would use that as a highlighter, and it's really like, you know, it's doing it. It's doing the things. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching. Um, I wish this eyelash would stay up because it's cute when it does that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. And uh, if you are interested in more, like, subscribe, say hey to me. Do whatever you want. Have a nice time. Play with your makeup. Buy more. Uh, if you do buy more, tell me what you get. Let me know what kind of fall things you're doing right now with your palettes. Anyway, have a good weekend. Bye.